Hey there, thinking atheist. Um, well, I, I noticed that this video uh, that you did, The Invisible God, also um, the one about Susie, um, it, it's essentially just a, a restatement of the case uh, of the problem of evil. And the thing, the what, what you have to realize about that. You, you 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 have to that there's a, there's an inconsistency there in saying God doesn't exist because there's there's evil in the world and and the inconsistency is not within the the framework of the religious person's view of God the inconsistency is in the part is within the frame view framework of the atheistic view so what what is evil what is bad it's a it is a privation of of the 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 good so when when something that should happen doesn't happen or something that ought not to happen does um that 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 is evil so it's it's the good not being fulfilled that that that's what evil is so if there if there is such a thing as evil and if there is such a thing as good um then that is what you might call the moral law well a, a moral law requires a moral law giver so if, if you assume that God can't exist because of the presence of evil in the world and evil comes from a, a, a kind of para, parasitic attachment to the good that then you admit there, there's there's such a thing as good which presupposes that there, that there is a God so in, instead of showing that there isn't a God instead what the problem of evil shows is that there is a God because if there is no God again to repeat then there's no such thing as as good and and evil uh, as the moral law if there's no more if there is a moral law there's a moral law giver if there's no moral law there's no moral law giver so if you're appealing to the moral law to kind of condemn God then that presupposes that there was a God to make to make that moral law in the first place so uh, the the only other possibility would be not that, that you think there really is evil in the world but that that is is what the Christian believes so so the Christian beliefs are being are being inconsistent um, so it's not that 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 you're appealing to actual evil you're just appealing to what a Christian would call evil, and saying that that's inconsistent with, with, with a good God. But it, but if you're if you're looking at a religious perspective, and you're trying to say that that all of its beliefs are inconsistent, you have to you have to consider all of the beliefs, not not just a few here and there to to try to prove a straw man point. Uh, so, the the theist, uh, more particularly the Christian position, includes. Not only that God is all powerful, that God is loving, that God is good, and that there is evil in the world, but also that that men are free, that God created human beings with a free will, and it's the free will of humankind, which is in and of itself a good thing, that allows there to be evil in the world. It's it's evil choices that that we make as free as free will creatures, uh, so it's our fault, not God's, and. Uh, another point of Christian theology is that God, in his goodness and justice, is righting wrongs. He, 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 is, uh, he, he allows us to have our freedom, which is good, so therefore evil is consistent with his goodness. And he is going to remedy the situation through judgment. Uh, but if he totally judged everything right now, we 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 would we would all be dead. Uh, but because of his goodness, he allows us to continue in our evil, um, and, 
and sometimes in, in our, we, we do good things as well, of course. It's not, not everything we do is evil. But, um, yeah, so, so he allows us to have freedom, and because he allows us to have freedom, which is, is in and of itself a good thing, that makes uh, evil consistent with God's goodness. He is not evil, we are. He allows us to be evil because he, he, he loves us and doesn't want to destroy us, uh, which is what we deserve. Um, so if, if you're saying that the problem of evil is a problem for the Christian or the believer in God, you have to take all of their beliefs, not just that, that God has certain attributes and that there is evil, but also that God has created us with, with free will. Uh, so because we have free will we can freely choose to do evil and yeah so that, that's just a few quick thoughts on some of your, your videos here and um, I, I hope you'll think about this stuff more carefully your, your name on YouTube is the thinking atheist well if, if, if you think about this stuff you're gonna be led to God so again the, the to, to say that evil poses a problem for belief in God is first to suppose that, that God exists so you can't prove that God doesn't exist by presupposing he does that, that that's self contradictory and as I said at the beginning it, it's a logical inconsistency not within the Christians view but within the atheists view thank you and Shalom out